Good morning. I'm going to the gym. I wanted to tell you something I had no opportunity to tell you before. <laughs> something absolutely awful happened to me. I was so embarrassed. So, our internet has been playing up. So, Paul um, called BT and um, they were sending an engineer out to have a look at it all and it was on a day when I was filming my latest fashion video so I am in that room filming and um, Paul's office is next to that room and that's where the uh, router is so I was filming this video and um, I needed to get something from my bedroom so I opened the door in my bra and knickers and the BT engineer was coming towards me and there was I in full glory I just wanted to die I quickly shut the door he was going I'm sorry I was like sorry and I'm thinking what am I gonna do <laughs> I thought I was going to murder Paul for not telling me that there is a strange man in my house. But I wasn't going to stay in that room for hours waiting for this man to go. So I just got dressed, walked out and I said to Paul, thank you for letting me know that there is someone in a house. I've given the man a heart attack and the man was like, I'm sorry. It wasn't his fault. But how embarrassing. I've given him a shock, now he's probably telling this story to all his friends. Listen, I went to this house and this woman walked out just in her brown knickers. <laughs> it was mortifying. So yes, this happened to me. Please let me know in the in comments if you've ever had embarrassing story like this because I love reading your funny stories. It's like when I talk about Paul's gadgets and you tell me about your husband's. <laughs> Sometimes quite funny. I was not happy. Look, my orchid is losing all its flowers. So that's it. So I will cut it down while it's lost all its flowers because, look, the new leaf is coming out. So that's the time where the plant needs to put all its energy to grow the new leaf. That's why I need to cut cut it short. So I better go and watch some videos and remember what to do and then I will replant it. Good morning my lovelies. I've curled my hair. I filmed it so you will see it at some point. I don't know how much I like it but I haven't come my hair for ages. I found us good strapless bra. So, you know, whenever I wear something off shoulders or bandeau tops, you always ask me what bra I'm wearing. So for years, I've been wearing this one, which is Ultimo. I think it's called Ultimo Ultimate Strapless, something like this. And the first one of those that I bought was years and years ago. The first bra of those, it was white, it was years ago. And then I bought another one in, I, I prefer them I think in a nude color because they don't show under white and so on. And you can wear it under black as well. Uh, this is like a, oh, this was Ultimo, I think multi-way strapless so it comes also with straps that you can do multi-way i was talking about this bra maybe a year or two years ago because i started looking for more of them because they became harder and harder to get they are obviously discontinued but i found one on amazon then i found some on some outlet uh, website and i bought two or three more so they last me till i die but now I can't find them anymore, so they must have been gone. But I love this bra. It's got nice shape. It holds pretty well. 
Um, and to this day, I'm getting questions about the bra. And I thought, well, I can't tell you because they are now more available. So I thought this will be my mission to find another good strapless bra. And I think I found it. I bought it in white just because I don't have a white one. But um, they do them in all sorts of different shades of nude and black. And I got this on Amazon. It's true to size because I bought exactly the same size like this one, 34F. And when I look at them, hang on, can I hold them like this? Oh, right. Can you see they look very similar in shape? The only difference I would say, this one is a bit more rounded up here. This one is still rounded, but just slightly different way. It doesn't matter. It still works really well, looks really nice. It feels very similar to that one on. I love the detail. I don't know if you can see it because this is white. Can you see it has like a crisscross here? Then here inside the straps, let me turn this down because <laughs> It's so wide, you probably can't see what I'm doing. Can you see inside here, it has this extra elastic. Um, because, you know, especially with strapless bras, after a while, this strap usually goes a bit loose, doesn't it? So it gives you that extra strength here. It has three rows of, ho of hooks. Um, it looks like it's a bit padded at the bottom, which is good because that helps to um, keep your boobies up. And it's very comfortable. And this one also comes with straps, but these are actually um, see-through straps. You see? I've never really wear them with straps because I've got... Oh, this is... Oh, yeah, there is two of them. I don't use straps for my strapless bras because I have other bras that I wear if I need straps. But they are worth having, you never know. Maybe sometimes you need them for something. It's really well made. I can't remember how much it was. It was probably, I think it was something like 22 pounds. Really, really great bra. So um, I might get actually one in black because I don't have black strapless one. Um, but I'm so happy that I found it even here in between. It's very hard to show it to you. You know this bit here in between the caps looks the same. Obviously you've got a crisscross here but that doesn't make that much difference. I don't know why that crisscross is there. It also has um, silicone here on the strap so it holds on to your um to your body it's really really good bra so what's very important when you're buying a bra especially if you have big breasts is to look at the depth of the cap i basically can look at a bra in a shop and examine it like this and i know straight away if it's gonna give me nice shape if it's gonna look good or give me double boob I just know it. I mean, I've researched bras so much um, that honestly, I can just look at the bra and I know straight away if it's good or not. So you have to look at the caps to be pretty deep because sometimes the cap still has your cap size, but, but it's quite shallow. And what that will do that will just squash your boobs. And if you, after that, look fine. But I find it very unflattering. You know, a lot of people say, why don't you buy minimizing bra? I think minimizing bras look, your boobs look horrible. You get mono boob. They squash you, they push your, oops, they push your boobs under your armpits, basically. And you just look like you've got this big roll here. So i much rather my bra to push me in and push me up. I've got big boobs, can't do nothing about it, but I don't want them to look like a big mono bulb. So that's one thing that is very important when you 
um, looking for a bra. Look at the inside of the cup. If it's deep, that will be much better. You can see it the same in here. I don't have one to show you that doesn't have that, but I've bought bras like this before. And that's more like a, because this one is more like a demi. So it's not balconette because balconette would be shorter. Uh, balconette bras are quite good because they push your boobs that way. When you are trying to choose like a pushing bra, like the one you probably can see through my t-shirt, uh, so the strapless would go that way and this one goes that way. Again, look at the depth of the cup. This is one of my favorite ones as well. This one gives me tiny bit, I could do like with F and a half cup. Uh, G I think would be too big um, so and also the bigger the cup it starts getting really big here but it's very comfortable this one is from Paul Moi and gosh what is this one called Ro is it Roxanne no I can't remember but I will leave you the link to that one as well but what you need to look at is the bit between the cup so can you see how that sticks out? You will know that that will not then squash your boobs here. So if the cup is not deep enough, if this bit here in between is too wide, so look how wide this one is. This is very difficult, I need, to, I need help. <laughs> Let me put it here. Right, can you see how wide this is comparing I show you on this one to this one can you see how wide this is because this is for a different shape this pushes you up this pushes you in so make sure that this bed bit between cups is not very wide because this needs to go right between your boobs so imagine if it was that wide it will squash your boobs here I hope you understand what I'm saying um, but yeah, so look for those things when you're buying a bra. Uh, depends what shape you want. If you have like a balconette bra, especially strapless, because there are strapless balconette bras as well, it goes completely straight across. It's not rounded like the strapless that I've shown you. With those, because there is less cup to hold you in, I usually go size smaller in those, but instead of F, I get E because you won't get double boob with that because it sort of finishes here, but it will really push your boob boobies out even better and stay on better. I hope I'm explaining myself. So yes, that's my advice on brass. I will leave you the link to that strapless bra. I'm so happy. Although, you know, I think I've got four or five of these, but you never know. They might become horrible. That's another reason I buy the, buy the nude ones, because, you know, white with time goes a bit funny color off white. So, um, yeah, but you never know. But at least I've got now found one that I really like because believe me I've tried so many strapless bras from like the known brands and the shape was never good really flattening um, just a very bad fit and I didn't think that I get anything good on Amazon but this one is brilliant I'm going to look at some different bras now on, on Amazon I think I put a couple in my favorites that I saw that look quite good so if I find any other good ones I will let you know right my lovelies I'm gonna go and get on with my day looking all like Shelley Temple <laughs> I will see you another day the usual spot for a snack. <laughs> These are really hard because you left them open. Always in this spot, Louis has to have his snack and drink. Don't you? A bit chewy, that isn't it? All done. 
Okay, off you go. So we are on a first walk with, well, first long walk with Louis in about three weeks because the weather has eventually cooled down. It's more reasonable temperature. I think it's like 23 or something today. I've been very busy this morning. I've made spaghetti meatballs. I've made huge batch. So I have enough for four dinners. I like doing that. I do that with spaghetti meatballs and I do this with cottage pie. Obviously I don't add the potatoes but I make a big batch and I freeze, freeze it in separate containers. So, um, so yeah, so I have some dinners ready for when we need them. So I did that. Uh, now we obviously are going with, out for Louis and tonight we have friends coming over for something to eat. We probably do a quick little barbecue take take advantage of the weather because you know it's it's coming close to autumn and even though when it's nice in a day evenings are getting a bit cooler so yes packed day today <laughs> swing it baby <laughs> you're gonna go in the river louis Still muddy there. Are we gonna get him to come across? Are you gonna come across, Louis? Hey, Lulu! <laughs> plop, plop. Oh my god, if my farm fell in that river. It's waterproof. Yeah, but would Louis retrieve it? Louis, this way. Come this way. Come this way. Look the other side, how shallow it is. Yeah. It's usually so deep there. <laughs> oh, he's loved this. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That better. <laughs> that was nice. What have you sniffed out? Oh, you need to pee on it. Okay. Nice shoulders. <laughs> Look like everything is so dry. You all always say how beautiful and green it is, but look at it. It's just like straw. Mind you, look, these little trees are surviving. I think it's quite boggy there, isn't it? Oh, yes, but those trees can still obviously get some water. Oh, look. <laughs> Where are you running to? Louis has to go on the path. You're a good boy, aren't you? You walk on the path like a good citizen. Don't rub your face in it. Oh, that looks so nice, Louis, and inviting. <laughs> Did you just put your face in it? You've got hot face. Just please don't rub your face in that dry earth now. So we are going now to visit that um, communal orchard, remember? I've shown it to you before. Uh, we actually went there about a month ago 
and there were already some plums ready but they were full of worms you know when you open them up and they have all these black bits in it so I don't know if there will be anything good in there maybe pears but yeah the plums they looked really nice but everyone I opened was full of worms okay we're nearly at the orchard I can see are they apples all these black breeze mmm mmm very juicy lots of them on the floor yeah they all they're not very nice to pick them off the tree but the ones that are a bit pink Oh. oh look, look here. Lots of them. Oh here, these are nice. But you, how can you get to those? Paul, oh, maybe get one of the pull bags and we put it in that. <laughs> they tiny. Well I can't get to the big key there. What sort of man are you? <laughs> Look, this one is nice. Yeah. Okay. Right, I don't want any more apple. apples. Look at those ones at the top there. Loads of apples, people. Oh, look. This one's been eaten by some eaten by something. Look at the holes in there. Look. And look. And look at these apples mm. all dead. I don't want any more apples. I want plums or pears. Wow, look at those ones. Yeah, but they're tiny. They don't look very good at all. I want plums. How do they survive this drought? Not very well. Where? Yeah. Oh no, they look very poor. Look. Very small and all dried out. Well, that just shows when it's too hot and no rain, the crop is not very good. Were these plums? The plums are gone now. Yeah, these were the plums. We're too late for plums, Paul. Well, only the apples look. Oh, there are there are some plums up there. Oh yeah, look, there is loads at the top. Well, if you shake, they, they fall on my head. One there, and one there, and oh. one, and then to your left. That one. Oh, Ready? that one is so soft. Ready? <laughs> There's one. Oh, that's a big one. They the good ones. Do you want to keep doing that? Yes, but I bet that they are full of worms. That one fell down. Oh, oh, there is one here, here, right? That's enough. Yeah. Here, this one, oh. right? That's enough. I've got a Louis pool bag full of fruit. Do you want a plum, Louis? Oh, lots of them fell out. Give a bit to Louis on this one. You want to give it to Louis? Louis? Here, 
is what we foraged. <laughs> Are the plums full of worms? Yeah, look. That's not a worm. Yes, all that. That's nice. I see. Paul, this, this is our worm pole. Nah. It is. Good morning. I've got an appointment with a GP. <laughs> It's like something out of this world. So I forgot to tell you, but it was about two weeks ago, almost two weeks ago that I called and I was first in a queue. You know, I've told you before, if I called the surgery, I would be like 24th in a queue. I was first in a queue. I still waited 10 minutes for them to answer the phone. And all I wanted was a phone call appointment with the doctor. You know, I wanted to talk to her about my HRT uh, because, you know, I've told you I'm cutting the 50 uh, milligrams in half. So I use just half and wanted to talk to her gently about the bloating because I'm still getting bloated. Not as much as I did before, but I'm still getting the bloat. Um, so the receptionist told me okay i will pass it on you know first of all i had to tell the receptionist my whole medical history which i think is ridiculous she's not a doctor um it's a doctor patient con confidentiality um i shouldn't have to tell a receptionist what's wrong with me so I spent, you know, about five minutes telling her what it's about. She said, okay, I will pass it on to the doctor and you will get text, you know, because even if you have one phone call, that's still an appointment, you will get a text. So I waited a week and I got the text last week and they've given me actual face-to-face -face appointment, which I was very surprised by. But... Um, it will be in another three weeks three or two weeks so from the moment i found it was a month till i can actually see a doctor so um thankfully i am not dying because i probably wouldn't have made it but yes i've got an appointment not that i'm so happy about it. i would rather talk to her on the phone i hate going to the doctors you know mm. so yes success anyway um, I wanted to say that I promised you a video card making video and you still haven't seen it but I promise I will do it it's just that it takes a bit of planning and preparation there is so much stuff you have to get out to um, you know to to do that sort of video and then I have to set up my camera to point it down at it and all this so I just have to find a day when I'm in a mood for it and I have to set myself up with it all okay my lovelies I think I'm going to finish this video here I hope you enjoyed it our foraging <laughs> So thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful week and stay fabulous, bye!